I'll, I'll introduce Sandra. Thank you.
Here it's going to get ten billion pounds a month paid care to the Scottish economy. But we're not recognised. So a shout out to everybody out here who's a carer. As Ian said, I've been a lifelong member of CND and been involved in the in the in the nuclear actions have been arrested unfortunately for blocking the road. Um, I don't know, you're probably all aware of the Rocky car park, the car park in the stand. If you go up there and look, you can go right ahead, you can see beautiful wee Helens, but all this posh wee tea rooms, a nice cup of tea and a nice ice cream, right next door to the gates of hell. And that's definitely you know, what the lane is. It's abhorrent. We have these nuclear weapons in Scotland. There's no place for them. It's, apart from a nuclear war breaking out, which would be the end result, even one single accident could mean, you know, the catastrophe. Redditch is meant to be a nuclear free zone, but it doesn't affect the convoy that, that go past on a way to go for all the time. I also want Scotland to be a peaceful nation. I have a, a young neighbour, Fraser upstairs, and when Fraser was 18, he was sent to Afghanistan. He didn't have to serve on the, the front line, but he was in Afghanistan and he's come back traumatised. And I'd like to see a Scotland where there's no more economic conscripts, where instead of trying to shoot someone or hurt someone, Scottish people can be there to, to help people, you know, and do good. Offer medical aid, that's the kind of Scotland that I dream of. I don't know if you saw um, the, better, the Better Together argument, Better Together, you probably saw it yesterday. Um, I was quite um, angry by a young the woman um, who said, you know what I mean, um, oh, all of us, all of us who are in Better Together are nice and quiet people. All these people who want independence, in, in, in the you're not too loud. But why are we too loud? They're loud because their voice isn't heard by the media. And, you know, we have to shout. And I think, I, I don't share I'm not a shouty person, but I'm probably a seller. And I think we're so proud of independence that we share it with people. As I say, we've got another 99 days to go to the referendum. And this is a lifetime opportunity. This is our chance to dare to be different, to get out there and change society. 99 days. So for the please ask me, please spend your guest badges. Please do anything that you can. Talk to your friends, talk to everybody. That's what we'll be doing in the SSP. Um, I was speaking to Cat Boy last week, you probably know Rick there and it, it, it phrase is in another Scotland is possible. But what also Cat said, another Scotland is probable. It's going to happen. We're going to win this referendum and after this, that's when the hard work starts. And I really hope that it's going to be the start of a kind of fair society, the kind of politics where SNP, Labour, SSP can agree the things that are for the best. Thanks very much for listening and I hope you're going to get involved in the next 99 days. Thank you.